Hi everyone, it's Kezia over here from Kezia's Corner and welcome to my channel. My name is Kezia and this is a space where I share all my love for makeup, beauty, lifestyle and all that jazz. I'm actually a full-time psychologist slash psychotherapist, but this is what I like to do in the meantime. I don't have as much time as I used to because I've been doing this now for a couple of years, but when I can get to sit down and just talk to a camera, I truly just enjoy it. Today was a video which I feel like was a bit all over the place. I feel like I need to ground myself a little bit more before the video, so maybe I need to do that before the video that I film next time. But here we are. Good enough is good enough, my beautiful teacher used to tell me. So today's video is just going to be me trying out some new products, plus as well catching up with you guys. And I also have a little bit of a side note to dedicate part of this video to Fedoma. Fedoma is a jewelry brand, which I'll be talking to you about very soon. And any links of Fedoma will be just down below in the description box if you wish to check it out. I also have a discount code, it's Kezi and you can use it to get a bit of a percentage of your Fedoma order. So let's go ahead and start with today's video. Okay, so before we do so, I'm just going to be unpackaging a box that I received from Fedoma Jewelry. I'm very excited to see the package. Ooh, oh my. This box is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to give it an open. Oh, how sweet. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. So we have a little bit of an envelope over here. And we have a bit of a postcard from Fedoma. So Fedoma is a jewelry brand. You also get like this cloth to clean your jewelry. And then this is the box. But if you're going to buy a jewelry present, they also send you this bag. I already give them a thumbs up because of this, because I love jewelry brands that also send up send out something like this so that you can just give this as a gift and everything is all set basically. What I like doing is I like going onto the website and also reading to you guys the about page. It's inspired from an unseen traditional jewelry crafting process. Fedoma brings together unique designs and the finest materials into refined retro pieces that are here to accompany you from season to season. So basically every single piece of the Fedoma jewelry is handcrafted in-house and the goal is to surprise and effortlessly complement women all over the world. Our traditional process and craftsmanship follows closely to how the Roman Empire, specifically the Byzantine Empire, made their 18th century, infusing with our renowned wax molding and polishing process, our pieces are uniquely textured while remaining the shine of contemporary jewellery. Making of Fedoma pieces involve tools that are manually controlled to transform precious materials and gemstones into wearable works of art. No two pieces is the exact same ever. Oh my god, that's really cool. Having a piece of Fedoma jewellery is like having something that is truly original and traditional with designs of today's vintage. I absolutely love that. So it's quite unique. So every piece that you will get is quite unique because it's handcrafted. And it's not just done like like a factory, you know, it's like all unique. I love that a lot. So I have this. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Sorry, I have like kitten scratches. That's beautiful. And I'm just going to put put this on. Oh my goodness. So pretty. <laughs> With my flower, it looks really cute. I absolutely love this so much. I love I love the chain of it, the color of the gold is something that I'm really happy with. I love the stone, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Okay, so this is the Atania necklace. Ugh. Guys, honestly, if you're looking for a cute necklace, I recommend this one. <laughs> this is so pretty. These are earrings, so I'm really apologetic because I have like really bad psoriasis right now. So this is the packet it comes in. Oh my god, even the... I love the burgundy. By the way, burgundy is going to be very in this autumn. I already stopped that one, like new burgundy stuff. <laughs> oh my god, I love these earrings. I'm very much into these gold hoops. I'm like in my gold hoop era. Oh, they feel so lightweight. It's like I have nothing on my ears. And what I like about them is that they jingle as well, like they, they move. So I like that. I really like that. Oh my goodness, I am so happy with these jewelry pieces. I absolutely love them. Like the pieces are absolutely the quality I'm quite impressed with. Like the quality is what I think drew me in the most. So the Fedoma jewelry pieces that I wish to share with you guys, I just want to say thank you to Fedoma. Just in case I also have a discount code, it's called Kezi and you'll get a percentage off your order. It is an affiliate link, so I will get something back from it, but I'm grateful to be sharing it with you guys as well. That 
can help you save a little bit of money and maybe you can buy something either for your loved ones or else just for yourself but honestly i absolutely love this okay so let's go ahead and get started with the video now let's just begin and see what i think of the products as well as sharing a little bit of an update i suppose because i feel like i haven't been with you guys in a while so i thought that would be cool as well okay so the first thing that i'm going to be using is this one right here it's the always an optimist pore diffusing primer this is the primer i'm going to be using always an optimist from the products that i tried from rare beauty i always really enjoyed her product so i'm really excited to try it out okay so basically the month of august kind of flew by for me i had dreamt of going to taylor swift this year it was the only thing that i kind of was like looking forward to by the way i did my brows already so my brows are done when that didn't happen kind of i feel like the month just was a bit sour it feels really nice on my skin it like smoothed i hope everything out the foundation i'm very excited to try this out because i've seen a number of reviews on it and a lot of people like this foundation this is the full coverage long lasting dewy finish camo hydrating cc cream and this is the one from elf i'm sure most of you or a lot of you might have tried this out and if you did please let me know in the comments down below and let me know what you guys thought of it just in case you're wondering my shade is fair 120 like <laughs> as you can see i haven't gotten so much of a tan which is perfectly normal for me even though malta is like full of sun and stuff like that <laughs> not because i don't like the sea tap because i don't mind it like this year we went to paradise bay and i really didn't mind it but it's so hot in malta so i don't know dictatale albi tie up all right so i'm using my new beauty blender as well everything is new in this video so i'm just going to blend this out Actually, might be a bit light actually so i did i did get a bit tanned i would say as for coverage i don't know i i don't know why but i might have expected a little bit better because i feel like my blemishes are still like seeping through and like some blemishes over here around my nose area I prefer the elf camo cc cream rather than the hydrating cc cream i think possibly for my skin my skin is more oily so i feel like for oily skin this would be much much better i'm a bit disappointed with that because everyone's like raving about it but i guess i'm not everyone <laughs> it doesn't work for everybody okay so the next thing i want to try is this one another rare beauty product this is the liquid touch brightening concealer and i'm in the shade 150c i always love the packaging of rare rare beauty they always do such beautiful packaging so as i was saying autumn was not the best ah, autumn i'm very excited for autumn but august was not the best something though that did happen that we were very excited about was we got a new kitten like i've always wanted to get two cats in one household it's something that i always wanted my dad never allowed me to so we always had one and to get one it took like years for me to convince my dad to get a cat i always told luke that i want to have two cats you know and this year we said we would have one and we did and we we're very very excited when we came back from vienna after kind of being very let down by everything obviously i'm very grateful that nothing happened at the taylor swift concert but yeah because it was cancelled i was feeling a bit down so i told him we we're supposed to get like go and adopt her like on a certain day and we went a bit earlier and we were really really enjoying her obviously and getting used to her and all that but then we found out she was very unwell <laughs> so that as well took over a lot of our time and we had to obviously take her to the vet well luke did a lot of work as well because i would go to work and he's on summer break so he would take her to the vet and we were giving her antibiotics we we're giving her eye drops we we're giving her something for her toilet for her stomach and also a cream we we're applying a cream and overall she's much much better a lot of our time in August was literally spent to taking care of Betty. Her name is Betty and obviously adjusting Bailey with Betty as well. It was a heavy, heavy, heavy month. Not my favorite month at all. So I'm going to use this powder and I will try and like grab a little bit of color with my bronzer that I will apply like 
because I think this will be a bit white, but it's fine. This is the Too Faced Born This Way powder. I haven't used it in a hot minute. And I think with all the stress that has went down this month, I feel like my skin, my psoriasis like took a bad turn. Like the, the, the ear on this side, I hate, I hate showing it. I mean, overall, I like the base that I have created. Are there better hydrating like foundations? Yes, they are. There are. Like this is a CC, CC cream, but I don't know. I'm not very happy with it. <laughs> now I'm going to go and do something off camera because I'm not going to show it here. I'm going to try and film an Instagram reel, but at the same time, it's the first time I'm trying them, so I don't know how these are going to test out. But I'm going to be trying out these ones. They're the Eyelore Underlash 30 Pre Glued Clusters. Basically, they have no glue. glue. They're seamless and they can last all day. So these are them. And I'm going to just apply these off camera for the first time. And I'm going to do an Instagram reel in the meantime. So I'll hopefully be right back. I don't know how long this is gonna take me. Shouldn't take this long because when I saw people do it, like people apply it, it didn't take them this long. So hopefully it won't. Okay guys, I'm back. <laughs> and I must say it was, it was an experience. I tried them out. Like once I got the hang of it, then I did really, really well. But <laughs> to do that, I used up so much of the lashes and I broke so many because you have to be really careful on how you pull them. But it's true, I'm really happy with how they actually turned out. I was I was this close, this close to giving up, but I didn't, and I'm really, really happy. The applicator is really, really good, but these things are not always good for me because I freak out sometimes, and I'm not that patient. This I came much, much better. Okay, let me just add some color to my face because oh my goodness, I feel like I I need some color. Let's grab a old eyeshadow palette. I was going to grab this one. This was the I Heart Revolution Sweet and Tasty palette from Revolution, from Makeup Revolution. It was the popcorn one. Who remembers this? Let me know in the comments down below. And basically it looks like this. Probably I've never really touched it. I just grabbed a random one. So I'm going to apply Box Office first, which is like this pale shade. Let's just, let's just apply, apply this everywhere. The lashes I applied from my lure are actually one that you actually apply on the lower lashes so you wouldn't apply them on your upper lash line which is which was what really intrigued me you also have another set but this other set you cannot really apply it on like it has to be bare bare skin and i since i applied my foundation and i applied my concealer and powder kind of i couldn't really apply it so i went for these these are pre-glued so it's not messy at all it's like Literally, absolutely loved it. Like once I got the hang of it, I was like, hang on. A little bit of this one is calling my name, Sweet and Salt, which is that one right there. You guys watch a movie recently? The last movie I went to watch, I'm going to just apply this in my outer corner, like just a little bit over here. The last movie I went to watch was actually the It Ends With Us. Like that was the last movie that I've seen. I don't know if I'm doing good on the lashes, if I'm moving them, but just to have a bit of color on my on my eyes. To be fair, I haven't applied eyeshadow in so, so long. Let's use this one. So this one is called Triller. Obviously, I'm not applying it as I would normally apply it without lashes. Like, I'm not used to like having these long lashes, guys. The are not the best, but we'll try and like make it work. I'm just going to try and like dampen a bit my brush. And the only reason I keep these shadow, these eyeshadow, Honestly, it was basically memories, but also because I like the collection. Mm -hmm. What I will definitely do is I will use this one, which is called Snack Cake. I'm going to place this in my inner corner. So we'll just do, oh, wait, there's like a hair on it. Just do this. I feel like so alive after having managed to apply the eyelashes. Oh my God, I'm so far away, guys. I'm so, so sorry. So here I am. Okay, and what I will do is I will also put it in my brow bone. I'll put the sweet and salt in my lower lash line as well. So those are my eyes. Oh yes, I am so happy with that. Okay, okay, all right. So yeah, the foundation I still don't like. Mm -mm. Like I feel like it's separating on my skin and 
not happy at all with it. Let's put some bronzer to kind of maybe like fix this. So I'm going to just use, I'm going to use the Benefit Hoola bronzer because we're going to be using a blush, which is new to my collection, which is from Benefit as well. It's already like taking a bit more shape as well. So this is the Benefit the Willa blush and it looks really, really adorable and kind of like my kind of blush as well. So I'm very excited to try this out. This is the first time I'm trying it out. I think I did a bit too much. So we'll be a bit gentle, yeah. Definitely a bit too much. Finally, I managed to open the lipstick. Absolutely love Milani. And this one is in the shade Tease. And I love the packaging of these lipsticks. Have you guys tried these ones? I've never tried this one before, but I used to love Milani lipsticks. So I'm just going to apply this. And I'm just going to use this since this is the one I have in front of me. This is the Racial Friends Revolution Setting Spray. So that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Basically, this is the finished look as well, as you can see. And I just want to remind you as well that these are the Fedoma jewelry pieces and check out Fedoma. I will leave everything linked down below. If you enjoyed today's video, if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then press subscribe. And I hope you get to come again to watch another video of mine. I hope you all have a lovely September and take care of yourselves. And yes, let's welcome autumn and hope that it will be a good autumn as well. Take care, guys. Ciao, ciao.